I'm Dominique and I'm here with my guest today, Felicia Cantello. Hi Hello. Felicia. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for coming on to the show today. Uh, we're here to talk about your jewelry. Um, so you make your own line of jewelry. What do you call your mm -hmm. brand? Um, my line of jewelry is called the Gem Gypsy. That's my business name. Mm -hmm. And I can't take credit for the name because my sister-in-law actually came up with it. But I loved it when she, you know, mentioned it because I I kind of feel like a gypsy, mm -hmm. and I work with gems, so that's how the whole name came about. So, okay. Yeah. How long have you been making jewelry? Oh boy, um, I started in 2006. Okay, so, wow. So, a while. Yeah. Um, now, tell us a little bit more about your jewelry. What materials do you use? Okay, well, I start out everything with um, sterling silver wire, and I use different gauges, and um, I use the wire to create the frames and then from there I hammer it or I use uh, different tools that I come up with different shapes and um, I do a lot of wire wrapping mm -hmm. and um, I just you know the piece comes to life as I'm creating it. So. Mm -hmm. Do you usually uh, plan out and draw out the pieces before or is it more I of don't. a free flow? Yeah, I don't. I sit there, um, I look at my gems and I look at my supplies and I just start playing around and you know sometimes something comes right away and sometimes like for example these earrings they took uh, like three hours to make so because I'm taking them apart I'm seeing what looks right mm -hmm. and uh, you know. Is three hours about average how long you would spend on a piece or it really um, varies? For a piece more involved, like this set took probably about four hours to make. Okay. So, because I'm very uh, particular and I like my lines to be clean and mm -hmm. I like um, everything to be symmetrical and, you know, I'm a, a little bit of a perfectionist. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. What types of gems do you use? I use all different types. I use a lot of quartz. I use pyrite, um, turquoise, carnelian, uh, labradorite, moonstone, um, pretty much anything I can get my hands on. Okay. So, and do you only use silver or have you used other materials? I use, um, I also just started using brass, which I like, but it tends to um, tarnish a little quickly, so I, I've kind of stepped back from that. But um, I also use, um, 14 karat gold fill, which is basically a solid tube, a thin tube of um, 14 karat gold, and they insert it with a, a base metal inside. Mm -hmm. So I use that a lot. It gives you the look and the wear of, you of know, gold. solid gold mm -hmm. without the high price tag. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what's the inspiration behind some of the design? I like big jewelry. I like um, big earrings. I like that whole bohemian, um, elegant kind of look, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I love my chandelier earrings and uh, I, I think a lot of the style comes from like Indian jewelry or mm -hmm. um, uh, what else? Pretty much like um, Middle Eastern, like I like uh, the whole geometric um, shapes mm -hmm. and um, you know the architecture of the buildings and stuff that comes into a lot of my pieces as well. Okay, so. now you said you've been doing this since 2006, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. How do you feel like your jewelry has evolved between 2006 when you've started uh -huh. and now? <laughs> it's come quite a way, uh, quite far actually. When I look back, because I still have one of the bracelets that I first made, mm -hmm. and it is horrific. I mean, <laughs> I, <laughs> it's so bad. It's basically just a, a string with beads strung on it. And, uh, you know, it's just manifested into what I'm doing now. It's just, I've come so far. So. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear yeah. that because as an artist, <laughs> you're always learning from what you've done previously yes. and evolving, and clearly you've, you've been doing a lot of mm -hmm. that. Um, much trial, much error. Mm -hmm. so. Now, you make different types of jewelry. I see mm -hmm. here you have bracelets, necklaces, earrings. Did you start out with any specific type of jewelry and then build upon that? Do you have new I, styles that you're making? I think I started off making bracelets. Um, Actually, I did start off making bracelets, and they were they were um, big, semi-precious, uh, chunky 
bracelets. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they had multiple layers, uh, strands, sorry. Um, and then it manifested over to earrings because I wear, if there's any piece of jewelry I wear, it's earrings. So um, I just started making a bunch of earrings and then from there I was like, I don't have any necklaces. And then I started making necklaces and now I'm doing everything. I'm doing, I'm making rings, I'm making bangles, bracelets, you know, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. So I even want to start making some uh, nose jewelry, nose stud jewelry. Very so, cool. Yeah. You've even made, I've seen phone charms too, I yes, think. Yes, I've and made um, rear view mirror crystals, yes. which actually are my best sellers. <laughs> really? I, I don't know why I forgot to mention <laughs> that. Yeah. Um, I wire wrap uh, crystals and then you put them in your car and uh, people, they just love them. So they're different and... Uh, they're fun to make, so. Okay, yeah. now if somebody's interested in purchasing your jewelry, where can they buy it? They can go to my Etsy shop, which is thegemgypsy.etsy.com, and um, you know, contact me. Uh, my my email is thegemgypsy at gmail.com. Um, I do custom orders, I do home parties, um, I do special events. Um, I like to put myself out there as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So. Where have you vended in the past? Um, I've done Smithtown Day. Um, I've done a few home parties. I've done, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the market, the LI Market. It's a, it's a new one at the um, MacArthur Airport. Mm -hmm. I did that over the summer. Oh, okay. Um, been meaning to check that out actually. Yeah. <laughs> but actually I sell mostly online and um, it's been pretty good so far. So Okay, do you have any yeah. things you're com uh, that are coming up that you're excited about? Um, there's always new things. <laughs> um, I just, uh, you know, just making more jewelry. As far as events go, I have um, an upcoming home party that's going to be out in uh, Southampton and um, it's just a bunch of different artists that are, will be selling their work there and um, I'm pretty excited about that so I like to meet with other artists and see what kind of things they uh, can create as well mm -hmm. so um, but I'm just always you know making stuff I uh, I spend many hours, you know, doing this, and I, I love it. It's my therapy, so it mm -hmm. keeps me sane. <laughs> now, is each piece one of a kind, or do you make multiples of any pieces? Each piece is one of a kind, but I have made um, one or two or even three of certain earrings that maybe somebody saw that I had sold online, mm -hmm. and they were like, can you make this for me? And, you know, of course it's slightly different, mm -hmm. but I am thinking about um, starting to do more, you know, limited edition pieces. Okay. So, yeah. Um, are you open or to the idea of selling in like a store and having a couple of pieces available for yes, sale within absolutely. stores? Yes, I'm always open to new things. I'm always open to getting my product out there. Um, so absolutely, yes. And mm -hmm. do you have a Facebook page for your jewelry as I well? I do. The Facebook page is, um, what is the Facebook page? It's <laughs> Gem Gypsy Jewelry. <laughs> it's a little different. I couldn't get the Gem Gypsy, but um, it is Gem Gypsy Jewelry. Okay. So. Um, now, your earrings that you're wearing right now, it looks like they have silver and gold tones in them. Are they both sterling silver? They're or actually they? both sterling okay. silver. Um, what happens is, uh, these ones, I have like a big metal hole puncher. Mm -hmm. it's, it's basically uh, this, this piece of metal that has different size uh, holes. Mm -hmm. And you put the metal, sheet metal in there, and you just punch it out. And what I do is I take little tools, little stamping tools, and I put, um, you know, I hammer the little, for, on these ones, I don't know if you mm -hmm. can see them, but there are little stars in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's really cool. So, yeah, and then the stone is uh, black spinal. So, mm -hmm. and then I have And then it's got a very fine wire wrap around it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love my little wire. So. Mm -hmm. Now, I love the sound it makes, too. As yeah, you're wearing you it, it kind of like <laughs> sounds like little bells. And I yeah. feel like the addition of like the sound adds another dimension to your yes. work as well. That's um, really cool. It's funny because on the way here, you know, I was like looking around while I was driving. And I thought <laughs> I heard someone walking their dog, you know, like with the, yeah, the, yeah. the chains <laughs> or whatever. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> you know? So it was pretty funny. But yeah. Now, you said the rear view mirror... Um, Crystals are some of your best sellers. Mm -hmm. What other pieces are very popular? Um, I sell a lot of keychains. I make uh, little resin heart keychains, and I put little, um, some have little horoscope uh, signs in them, mm -hmm. that, you know, metal charms. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I used to make some, like, 
sun catchers for the windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I stopped doing that because that, those were fun and those were good sellers too. So. Okay. But I mean, anything, anything that I can get my hands on, I love to create, um, you know, I just, I, I love it all. And what is the price point for some of your pieces? Um, I have jewelry that starts from $30 and ranges up to three hundred dollars mm -hmm. so like sets you know the set i believe is like 250. Mm -hmm. um but it all depends on you know like how much silver what kind of gemstones mm -hmm. um because you know some gemstones are more than others the turquoise is expensive the pyrite's a little less expensive um and then the moonstone those can get expensive depending on the quality and the grade mm -hmm. so it Do all depends do you go to gem shows? I do. I love gem shows. Um, I went to the one in the city. I forget what it's what it's called, but I was like a kid in a candy store. I walked <laughs> in and I was like, oh, heaven. <laughs> so, yeah, I do. Are you drawn to certain gems because of their meaning or because of any properties or more is it more of a physical attraction to I, certain colors? I think for me it's more of a physical attraction, like uh, the moonstone, mm -hmm. which you can't really see that well unless it's against the black, but that mm -hmm. really pops out, um, and it looks great with dark red hair, or mm -hmm. black hair, you know. Um, and I also like a similar stone called Labdorite, mm -hmm. which is a gray stone, and it has uh, flashes of blue and green, and it's just really iridescent, and it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very different, and I, I think I'm drawn towards different, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Um, with your best sellers, do you think price has an effect on what's more popular? I think so. I think, um, especially at the fairs and the shows, people are only looking to spend, you know, a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. And um, the rear view mirror charms, I charge $25 for those, mm -hmm. the, the crystal hangings for the car. And I think that's, you know, more of a spur of the moment impulse buy. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, you know, there's a little bit more thought that goes into... Uh, you know, making the purchase, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of the materials that you've used and where you're going in the future, is there anywhere you'd like to experiment and expand and try to use a new type of material that you're excited about? Um, <clears throat> well, I love silver. I love the gold fill. Um, what I'd like to start doing, and I have started playing around with it, is um, bezel setting. Mm -hmm. And that's basically, uh, you take a cabochon, I'm sure you're familiar with those, mm -hmm. with the vintage like jewelry. Like rounded. Yeah, it's yeah. a rounded stone, and uh, you basically take a, a, you know, a piece of flat uh, sheet metal, mm -hmm. and you solder, um, what is it called? I'm having a brain fart right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, take a, you take another wire, and you basically solder them together, and then you kind of Bend it around. Uh, bend it around the stone. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited about that, and I'm really excited about starting making uh, rings. So okay, because I don't have. I think I have like three rings in my collection right and now. And would the rings be more of like a soldered flatter piece, or would it be more like the wire work that you use to mount the? I stones? think it would be more of a soldered uh, piece. Mm -hmm. So I might do some wire wrapping, um, but I don't know. It's it's whatever comes to me at the moment. So. Okay. Who knows, you know, what form it will take. I'd oh. never know until the piece is finished, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, this works. Um, so. so you said you use the punch, you do a lot of hammering, you do the wire work. Is mm -hmm. there anything that we haven't discussed about how the process of your work goes in terms of maybe polishing or how you finish a piece and when yes. you decide it's done? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I decide it's done when, to my eye, everything is symmetrical the lines are clean, the wire wrapping is all tucked in and secure because sometimes these little pieces can come undone. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, you know, tighten the wires up and uh, sometimes I even put a little tiny bit of jeweler's glue on it and that'll secure it, you can't see it and mm -hmm. it, it stays like that. But um, I do, you know, I polish each piece after I'm done and uh, I, I also like to put colors that you wouldn't normally see together mm -hmm. because I think it's different and I think it's unique and it it's a pop you know who doesn't like color you know yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of my pieces are very colorful yeah so. no you absolutely have like um, 
I mean, the pieces are so clean and perfect and symmetrical Thank and well you. balanced that you could tell how much work and thought and yeah. um, kind of design goes into the pieces. And it's really impressive how just like finished they do look at the end. Um, so I think they're they're really really great. It would be great to see more of your product out there within shops and in um, also vending. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to seeing you in more places around the island, selling your your beautiful jewelry. Thank you, thank you. I, I would love for that to happen as well. <laughs> <laughs> and so. what is your contact information? One more time. Sure. Um, my website is uh, thegemgypsy.etsy.com. And my email address is thegemgypsy at gmail.com. All right, great, Felicia. Well, thank you for coming on the show today. Thank it was wonderful to see me. your pieces thank and learn you. a little bit more about the process. I don't think many people know how laborious it can be yes. to make one of these pieces, the materials that go into it and everything. And I feel like the pieces are at a really good cost considering how much work and thank time you. and genuinely like precious semi-precious stones yeah. and silver goes into it so it's a labor of love <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no it's absolutely wonderful to see them here and to have you here and i thank you very much thank for coming you. on thank you for having me thank you for turning in to the daily blue and art and fashion i will be here next week and i hope you guys tune in thank you so much for watching today and i hope you all have a great day